for 32 India in dire straits at the moment and Vinod Kamli comes to the wicket to join Navjot Sidhu Vinod Kamli has a fine average in one day cricket but he'll have to improve on that today because India need a big knock from him That's beautifully stroked by Kamli straight down the ground and once it beat the bowler it was four runs all the way. Lovely piece of timing. Vinod Kamli uses a very very heavy bat and he's got uh, several grips uh, on that handle over there. It becomes a very thick handle and uh, you can see how effective that heavy bat is. Not much of a follow through over there. Very very good timing. They're playing a little too soon. Down the track comes Kamli and plays it beautifully over mid on to the pitch of the ball and going through with the shot. So, welcome boundary for India 56 for three. But I definitely bowled really well throughout this uh, World Cup. Good shot, beautifully placed. It's quick to get on to that uh, bad ball. It's really shot, doesn't have a mid on there. It's really shot, calmly going on the back foot, watching it till the very end, playing it beautifully into that vacant area of long gone. fortune there for Camley inside edge but it's finished up being well placed well it's uh, quantity and not the quality that matters in one day cricket as you see Camley wanting to drive it on to mid on take inside edge a good ball that's that's a very good line that uh, Strang has bowled all throughout That's the 50 partnership between Camley and Sidhu. Just over the bowler's head and well placed in the end. Nicely struck, getting a little bit of room. Ball pitched further away from the batsman. Getting on right up top of that on the rise but we can see that didn't go really very high as much as Kamli would have intended as Ian has been saying earlier that it would be really difficult to hit it on the up but anyways a good shot fetching four runs excellent placement again really making the fieldsman hustle out there that's a marvellous piece of fielding, a full toss from uh, Stephen Peel. Well, both the spinners uh, from Zimbabwe are not uh, really trying to bowl quick, but give a bit of air, pushing the ball through in, not really quick. And there we see a marvellous piece of fielding, a certain four, cut it to just two. Well hit. Just short of the boundary rope. Losing his feet really well, Vinod Kamli. Getting right on top of the ball. With the swing. Straight over the bowler's head. It's a superb shot. And that is what the crowd wants. A picture of his play. That he's, when he's hit the ball in the air, he's hit it straight down the ground. It's a race to the half century for the two Indian batsmen. Good for the Indian side that both the players who are not in good form at all have at least uh, chipped in with their 40s to the side. That's very important that these. It's when you consider that uh, Sid Hu is a 
He's an opening batsman. He's got very good footwork. There's 50 for Bernard Cambly. That's an inning of, innings of character by Vinod Kambli. Absolutely marvellous. Coming in a position in India with 32 for 3. And in a good strike rate as well. 50 or 56 balls. Should be looking for, are looking for that 125, 30 mark in 30 overs. The Indian captain might be feeling short about 15 or 20. But then the early loss of wickets have not really affected the later on situation for India. job for uh, Vinod Kambli now is to go on and try and make it three figures as is uh, the job for his partner man out there and he's dropped it Stephen Peel will be mortified straightforward chance uh, wasn't difficult at all had to just move out a few yards on to his right toss from Stephen Peel. Thank you, said uh, Kamli. Didn't connect it well. I'll say quite a simple catch. Straight to his hand and what a drop. Good because uh, both uh, Kamli and Sidhu have been short of run. Sidhu, in fact, has not been uh, in the Indian team for the past couple of games. So this partnership very, very important. Not just from the team's point of view, but also from the individual point of view. Beautifully played by Kamli here, uh, waited on it, opened the face of the blade and got the placement absolutely right, square of the wicket on the offside. Uh -huh. Well... This is the second time in quick su succession that Vinod Kamli has been put down and the Zimbabweans might well rue this drop chance. Well, Campbell took that excellent catch to get rid of Mamad Azaruddin diving forward and this is, in cricketing parlance, a sitter. Beautifully played on the offside by Vinod Kamli. Stepping back on that back foot and crashing it through the covers. 189 for four India after 43 overs. But I think with a slow pitch and a low bouncing pitch, it's not all that easy to hit sixes. So 250 is going to be a tough target. Yes, and after lunch, it would uh, still go slower and lower. Because uh, as you've seen, the basic uh, tradition and as has been the character of this wicket is that it goes slower and lower as the game goes by. So 250 definitely is a very good score. Until unless India bowl very badly, they are in with just uh, four regular bowlers. We'd we'll be expecting Sachin Tendulkar and Jadeja to share as the fifth bowler. Family on 99. There's the 100 for the young man. A very excited player he is. That's very well played by Kambli, played a superb innings, coming in at a situation in India with three down for 32, getting his second hundred in style, the first being at Jaipur against England in January 93, and this is how he got it, getting right on top of the ball, and look at that jubilation, it's been a long time since he got into runs, definitely is a very happy man, more gaps and less time for them to stop the balls. So the situation with just 3.3 overs to go, that is not a bad strategy. Zimbabwe is doing well so far, cutting down on the boundaries, but that's excellent running to get back to the second. Third man is 
up. That's brilliant batting. Well, again, a full length outside the off stump. Kamli waiting till the very end, letting the ball come on. He's guiding it past to the vacant third man for four. Just look at that. Not wanting to bowl up into the block hole. And uh, that is what basically is done by bowlers bowling into these slog overs. But then Kamli really doing well. He might have even uh, got a wide had he not connected that. Straight down his throat. Grant Flower taking the catch. It was well taken because that was drilled flat and hard. That ends an excellent innings from Vinod Cambly. Superb innings of her character. It was quite obvious that after he gets his 100, he'll go for the shots, which he exactly did after playing that uh, lovely late cut for four on this occasion, wanting to hit him over the top. And as uh, We've been talking from the very beginning. It won't be that easy to hit it over the top, but this occasion is not able to clear it. Kamli has gone for a brilliant 106 in the 219 for five.